Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm trying something totally new. I've never even done it before, but I'm going to try and show you how to do a watercolor marble tumbler. So what you're going to need is a tumbler. I'm using a 20 ounce from Tumblrology. I will post their link in the description below. I base painted it white with Rust-Oleum. Um, let's see, you're going to need a paintbrush similar to this one. I believe I got this in a pack of like a bunch of different ones from the dollar store. You're gonna need some rubbing alcohol and something to pour the alcohol in and some alcohol inks. You can use whatever colors you choose. I am choosing purple, purple, pink, and blue. These are Picasso brand. Um, I got them on Amazon. I will put everything that I'm using in the description below. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, so I'm going to start by pouring some rubbing alcohol in a little cup so I can have that on standby. Make sure no matter what alcohol inks you use before you use them, you shake them up really good because they do get really watered down after just sitting for a while. So I'm gonna be holding the cup upside down like this just so I can hold on to the handle the whole time because I really don't want to get any alcohol inks on my hands, which I will probably still end up doing. It's almost inevitable. All right, so we are going to start. Um, I think I'll just start with purple. I'm just gonna put a drop. And I'm going to dip my brush in some alcohol and just kind of make like a swirly kind of line. Add some more alcohol, or add some more alcohol inks, some more rubbing alcohol, and we're just going to keep doing this process. Um, if your alcohol inks start to run down, that is totally fine. And it's gonna look like a hot mess for a while, but it will look very, very pretty. So that's what I'm working with so far. Gonna add some more purple. Like I said, if it runs, it's okay. This is my first time doing one like this, so if you're watching this video, it must have turned out pretty decent. So if it doesn't turn out that good, I'm not going to post it, of course. So I'll come over here do some more. If it runs, like I said, it's okay. And you just keep adding some rubbing alcohol until you get the desired look. I'm trying to push most of my ink into one spot because you can see like the darker lines, those are going to show up more than anything else. So I'm trying to put all of my lines kind of like in one spot. So I'm trying to push my alcohol inks over. I'm trying to stop it from running too much. And like I said, it's going to look like a complete, like, what the heck are you doing mess whenever you first start. But I promise it's going to turn out really pretty. 
I'm gonna do some more purple up here at the top. Trying to catch that alcohol ink. And alcohol ink dries very, very quickly. So you don't have a whole lot of time to do whatever you're wanting to do. So it looks kind of crazy right now, like there's really no um, point to what I'm doing. <laughs> but it will all come together. So right now I just have kind of like blotches of color everywhere. So I'm going to move on to the next color. I'm gonna do some blue. And I'm just doing the same thing that I was doing with the purple. But now I'm just using blue. And the colors are going to run together. That's what you want. So don't panic when your colors start to run together. they touched right there that's totally fine I'm gonna add just a little bit more alcohol to lighten this up I'm trying to do like a pastel kind of look do some blue right here This is a little bit scary to do because it, it looks like it's not going to really turn into anything. But I promise, just trust me, it does. Just gotta trust the process. See how you can see the darker lines? That is what we want. And I'm going to actually add just some alcohol ink in here. Try and smooth out some of those brush strokes. I think I'll use some more blue right there. Let's add some pink in there. This is a really pretty, really bright neon pink. I'm kind of figuring out the more I go with this, the more I just want to just let some alcohol drop and kind of let it create its own pattern. Do you see how that does that? And that makes it really pretty. So I think let's let's try that in a couple more spots and just kind of see what happens.
I'm trying to control a little bit where it goes. That's a really cool thing about making tumblers too, is you do things like this and you kind of come up with your own ways of doing things and um, you just kind of figure it out along the way. And it's really, really cool. I love making cups. So I think I'm going to need some blue in here. There's not a whole lot of blue in that area. Drop some alcohol. Let it kind of fill in those blank spots. See, we're starting to get somewhere. We're starting to let it come together a little bit. And no two cups are gonna look the same too. That's what's really cool about this process. No two, no two cups will look the same. You can just go through however you wanna do it with your colors. This reminds me of a cotton candy. I'm trying to get everything I do on camera, but I like slowly move and don't realize I'm moving. Let's add some blue in here. just flows into its own little pattern. also kind of satisfying too. 
You just watch it go into fill in blanks. It's like soothing. Smells really, really strong of alcohol though. Starting to get somewhere. I want some pink up there. There it goes along my rim. It's a very, very messy process as well. Okay, blue definitely needs to go here. I'm trying to like follow the little pattern, like the line marks that have been made. What should go there? I think I'm going to go with purple. This is what I have so far. I'm almost done. I might go through and do a little more blending with some more alcohol. I'm trying to get the rim, I think it's going to be the hardest part. I think I have everything covered almost. I need a little bit of blue there. Okay, now I think I have everything colored. So I'm gonna go through with some alcohol and just kinda dab some alcohol around to try and do a little more blending and to lighten up the colors to make them look more pastel. So 
I'm just going over everything I just did, but with not any more color, just alcohol. Like that blue stayed pretty dark. It was a really vibrant blue, which is beautiful, but not exactly what I want for this style. I'm kind of seeing too, it's easy to just like dab. Like that seems to be effective. If it starts to run too much, blowing on it can make it stop and like instantly dry. Yeah, that's, that's definitely what I recommend doing, getting some alcohol and dabbing it. See now the lines, I love that. They look like veins and they're showing up a lot better now that I'm doing that. Really wish I would have done that from the beginning. But like I said, I've never even attempted this before. I was just like, let's try it and show everybody either what to do or what not to do. And I feel like I've kind of showed you both. turning out very pretty. And I always forget to do stuff to the bottom and there's a random leaf glitter on the bottom there. Let's do some pink on the bottom. And I'm sorry you can't really see, I'm trying not to let it run too much. I'm doing the dabbing. And that turned out beautiful. Super interesting, but also very pretty. The only thing I'm not happy about is you can see like the long areas where it ran. So I am actually going to try to cover that. I'll try my best to kind of camouflage that and not let any more run like that in the process. Nope, 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 nope. So for the most part, this is easy. For the most part. So yeah, that camouflaged it. So now you can't even tell there. I covered it right up. So let's see if I can cover this up as well. I'll try to get some of the pink off my brush here. There we go. So now there's not like super long areas. Oh, there's one right there. I don't like it.
just trying to lighten that little area up that I added more color to. All right, so that is a marble watercolor alcohol ink tumbler tutorial. I I think I'm going to maybe add some iridescent glitter to epoxy and do a coat of epoxy with glitter in it to make it shimmer. But that is it. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.